100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl, Erin Rain. Guys, shout out to everybody locked in on the road, everybody on the job, everybody at home, and everybody that's going to be up right now on the Facebook Live. Now is the time for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. And of course, you know, I got DJ Pressure right here in studio with me because me and Pressure got a lot to talk about today. We got a little surprise for you, got a little discussion going on. All right, Pressure, how you feeling today? Hi. I can say hi. Oh, That's all I got to say right you now. You shy today, eh? No, I ain't shy. <laughs> I just reviewing some stuff. Reviewing some stuff. Okay. Yeah, you know some stuff I mean? we about to talk about yeah. in just a moment. But let's um, actually start off with what's happening with the Olympics. Because, you know, COVID-19 actually caused a lot of events to be canceled or postponed, including one of the biggest events, the most anticipated. Oh, my gosh. The Olympics, which was said to be taking place this year in Tokyo, Japan. However, there's still a question whether it will even occur. But especially now with Tokyo's rising coronavirus infection numbers, pushing it into a new state of emergency. Now, it was scheduled to be held March 4th to the 7th. But it now could possibly be held in April or May. However, Florida chief financial officer sent a letter to the International Olympic Committee encouraging them to relocate the 2021 Olympics from Tokyo, Japan to Florida. Fresh, how you feel about that? Would you go to the Olympics if they have it in Florida? Of course. Uh huh. That's where the bunnies play. You know what I mean? So I think it'll be a, I think it'll be a better choice knowing that the virus did come from that region. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think if they bring it to Florida, it'll be a better. A better, a better safety thing. Yeah, I know. I look at, I look at, I fishing for words right now. I, I could, I could tell. You know I mean? I could yeah, tell. <laughs> but I think it'll be better based on the climate too. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, I definitely think a lot more persons would go ahead and go to the Olympics, and they probably would gain more money. They probably would get the money back that they lost, right. seeing that it is warmer and it isn't that far away. Well, at least for us. Right. You know, that's a lot more, said, a lot so. more bohemians would definitely show up. That's just um, my opinion with that. And that's why I used to host. You find my words, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But let me let you know what else is happening, though, because with COVID-19 being the main topic of conversation, some persons may have forgotten about other vital diseases that are out there, like leprosy, because World Leprosy Day is actually on Sunday, January 31st, and leprosy still requires our attention. There are still some 200,000 new cases diagnosed worldwide each year, and millions of people are living with some form of disability as a result of leprosy. So I know COVID-19 might be... The topic, the main topic, but still, let's keep in mind other diseases that, you know, persons are still suffering from. And let's just keep them in our prayers as well, okay? So, Sunday, January 31st. But the hot topic right now, I got DJ Press in the building because this is what I really wanted to talk about today. Now, bringing this from social media because I see DJ Dom post this. So, I'm trying to figure if this is how Dom really feel. But I really want to get your opinion right now. Dom Everybody, ex- he expressing himself. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody listening in as well as everybody on the Facebook Live one time. So, Don posted this now. Tips for dating a DJ. For all my ladies who date a DJ on, out there. Off, you could put it as all entertainers. All entertainers. Yeah, I okay, feel let's like, say I that. feel what the list is. Uh-huh. That consists for every entertainer. Okay, so tips you know for that? dating an entertainer. Tell me how difficult it is for you, right? Especially my people on Facebook Live, man. Number one, if you're the jealous type, we're not the one for you. Number two, you don't have to be at every gig. Number three, if you're not in the business, stay out of the business side of things. Number four, don't stand in plain sight of us working and mean mug everyone that comes up to us. Now, that's true. That's a big fat pressure. I like them. Right. That's security. <laughs> security. Yeah. Number five, if the gig ends at 12, don't start calling at 12.05 asking when they're coming home. That's Fox. Only number yeah. three. I really uh-huh. have an iffy with yeah. because as far as the business, I ain't gonna lie, for us, we'll mess some money up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if she could say, well, all right, you make an X amount of money, let's invest and do it, I could uh, I could see you getting in that part. But everything else, I agree with. 1205, don't be calling me. But what happening and this and that? Because an hour, two hours after the fact, I gotta talk to the people who hire me. Exactly. You know what I mean? I gotta make sure they were satisfied. You gotta converse yeah, a little bit. You know what I mean? You gotta, gotta walk around the crowd, let them see your face. Right. For the me and mugging part, I don't need you there because I don't need security. Yeah. That's what security there for to the door for. Exactly. You know what I mean? Well, every you, gig, you uh-huh. don't need to be to every gig because, hey, we have to work. Yeah. I don't come to your job and say, hey, how much files you have to do today. You know what I mean? So, bang. Yeah. You don't be watching them. No. But that's to me, that's the biggest issue right there. Of course, you know, when it comes to being an entertainer in the business. 
It's like, uh, if you date someone who got a high profile on the island, everybody know them. They out there, they in the public eye. What you expect? Tell me what you expect. You can't be jealous, and to me, bro. Ben, you can't be, you cannot be. the. Actually, you know, a little jealousy is fine. But you can be overly jealous. That's just my two cents on that. Because I'm saying if I'm with you and you ain't a little jealous, I can get concerned. All right. So you got to be like, hey, you nobody talk to you tonight. You got to right. rough me up a little bit. So how, <laughs> all right, just like how you say in Anara, let's uh-huh. use Kamala Harris now. Okay. The first vice president of the United States. Okay. Now it's the first, what do you call uh, the male? If he is the vice president, what do you call the male now? Huh? Pressure. The first male, the first male, <laughs> the first male. Pressure, stop asking vice- questions. You nobody know the answer to right now. <laughs> no, that's what I said. Could he be jealous because now he playing second fiddle to someone who actually popular now? Yeah. You see, I just talking from a man and woman perspective now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So he in a position where as if he was that woman, me and Margaret I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, I agree with that. Honestly, I, I, I'm I, thankful that I never ended up in this predicament. But to me, too, um, as an entertainer, you definitely have to let your significant other know what comes with it. And you just got to brace them. My thing is, if you know a picture about to pop up online with you doing some things you're already supposed to be doing, or some females about to post a photo, or they about to post a video of you all, of you all night, you know what I mean, just having fun being in the crowd, then to me, it's like, let that person know. Brace them. Right. At least right. let them know first. And honestly... 90% of the time mm-hmm. You don't even know their name Or know them Exactly You know So exactly. it's like Everybody's just be having fun And Hey get you, you, you know That's what I'm saying You can't take things serious yeah. When you're dating an entertainer But nonetheless man Gina on the Facebook live She's saying that Entertainers are toxic Oh wow Oh wow I don't like that one So Gina What you saying about me What you saying about me Um, But yeah Xavier said Second gentleman Is the term um, Pressure Xavier's Second all right, Second you. gentleman There you go But yeah man Um, I think that's How it right there How we get toxic though, though? I trying to figure that yeah, out. All right, watch it. Let's all right. Let's just use not being an entertainer. Okay. Let's say now I use a popular doctor, oh, a popular I lawyer. Why you always got to? No, go no. Forward. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so you can't say it. talk talks it because you got some nurses and thing running around. Uh-huh. They want get with the doctor, the high profile doctor, because they want live easy too, and they want be. Hello. Lord. All right. Hello. So you can't just say entertainers yeah. talks it. Everyone, everyone yeah. who basically, you know, what I mean, as at the top level, whatever they do. But nonetheless, too, it's just the fact that um, if you want the person who really out there, who in the public's eye, everybody else want, then you just got to know what come with it. Real. And at the end of the day, to me, you should be that person that everybody want, too. Because if you ain't, then of course, that's why you're insecure. That's why you have comprehension, understanding. <laughs> you understand what they yeah. say? If you understand what I do and you accept me for what I do, exactly. you just got to know. But when I finish, I come in home to you uh-huh. and we can still live Bang. our life. You Bang. know what I mean? But my girl, um, Jay, right here on the Facebook Live, she's saying that communication is key. Just can't be that insecure because that's their career at the end of the day. And that's what you sign up for. Hello. Say it again. Hey, say it again. But know, let me, I want to ask you this question real quick, hey. Russia. But how difficult is it dating as an entertainer? In, in which term? I mean, like finding someone? Yeah, it, finding someone. Because, all right. It all depends on where you pick this person up from. Right? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So that's the honest truth. If you go certain places, only certain places, only certain people got beat up. Yeah. You know? So if you in a certain set of circle, uh-huh. them set of people got beat up. So you have to actually weigh out what kind of person you want to involve yourself with. Well, that's true. But... You know? I would say, honestly, for me, um, you know, being out there, being the public eye, is super difficult. Yeah, you can't, because... It's like, even when it comes to dating, or like, let's say, going out on dates, or just finding a particular person, because, you know, from we go out with one person, that's the guy. But Everybody like, You know uh-huh. where I meet my girl? Okay, where? On an airport floor, man. Oh, jeez. That's where you're finding me. Real dog. I was, I was on... one flight. Yeah, I was going to Lutra, and uh-huh. I was, it was like back of flights, you know what I mean? And I yeah. guess it was there, chilling on the floor, sitting down. This is the old airport now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just start talking and boom, get to find out we have so much in common that uh-huh. yeah, life is a circle, babe. So yeah. It just happened from it there. It just happened. That's did, what I said. Did she know who you was? No. Bang. And see, that's she when I think know. that's when I think things work out. But it's the fact that when a person already is familiar with you, you don't really be that interested no more. No. Because it's like you only dated me for the clout. So I'd say even, of course, persons that say when you date an entertainer, it's difficult. But also for entertainers, it's fine. It's definitely very difficult to find someone because most people just want to talk to you to get their name out there too. If you're an entertainer who making money. Hello? That cash, make, that right, that's what you saying. So for fellas, honestly, your high school girlfriend probably roll with that. But there's be some out there who really, really want to be with you. Uh-huh. But yeah, because it's be more like, but they only want. Exactly. You know what I mean? Now, females with money, I guess uh-huh. there's more of a little different because... 
in a way they don't really need hello but they still need that structure from uh-huh. a door to say all right babes i see you doing your thing mm-hmm. and we could ride you know what Bang. i mean and i that's that's what i get from it yeah so pressure know? don't say as an entity in this business you got to find somebody that ain't know know what you about <laughs> yeah who be it's, mean it's, mugging and <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that it's easier to work with someone that way but if you are dating an entertainer man you gotta you gotta ease up a bit man you can't be so insecure and nonetheless um i know brooklyn i just saying right here on facebook live that mutual respect and communication is needed on both sides which i definitely do agree with all right but that's it for chat hold, on, you know hold it. on one more thing hold up mm-hmm. you got some females like say if you post up a picture as an entertainer uh-huh they siphon through everybody who press like yep. yep. that's what they yeah. do you know what I mean so yeah get rid that's of them crazy do. girls or even well I don't know the boat like on my social media page I, you know I see people sharing and I see little things but my thing is also um, I'm a female in the business so you know you got a little sex appeal to you so you post this and that and your fellas them just can't they can't take it no kind of way that's just what the business is I'm just saying for female entertainers mm-hmm. the dude just need to be up front Hello? just tell me that's all. this what I want this uh-huh. what I this what I given and uh-huh. this how we can move don't go in there oh I love you you don't know me you just know what I do bang you know what I mean? So, Bing. yeah. For well, females, I, like I guess it's a little different. Yeah. But that's it, man. That's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media right here, of course. About to jump back into the mix. Got that BRS cash right here. Go, baby. But hold up, pressure. What we got for each of the beat today? You know, so, Wednesday. Your waist. Wine your waist. Waistline you know Wednesday. I mean? Let's sweat out some of this cool, cool air and thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I bought that life right now. So, keep it eyes locked in right here. The People Station.